So welcome to my tiny house. <laughs> Sounds like something off a of TV. And, and it will be. And so this entryway is designed at, uh, in terms of a lot of work was done to kind of fit it into my family values. So this is based on an ancestral family design is to be able to have an entryway that has multiple levels. But you don't necessarily need to know that for tiny house. You come in through the front door and you have a, a bench to sit on, take your shoes off. So you keep your house relatively clean and tuck your shoes away, hang your coats, things like that. Uh, of course, there's a doorbell if people want to ring it. And we have tons of cabinet space up here. A slider that will store some of the food from my canning and all of that. Uh, we have a high efficiency bathroom in multiple ways. Uh, it's uh, an adjustable flow toilet, so you can, uh, you can manually adjust just a large range of flushing volume. Uh, and that's for environmental reasons? Definitely for environmental reasons, to save the water. Uh, we are just, you know, better use of the water, better use of the, of the resources. And the shower, the shower head goes anywhere from a, a half a gallon a minute to I believe it's like a gallon and a half a minute. And um, because I'm using an on-demand hot water system, that will really save the amount of energy that I consume. Uh, this shower area actually, uh, I have a piece of furniture that is called a Japanese soaking tub. It's actually called a foro. F-U-R-O or o for o and that is like, a, uh, think of it as a hot tub or a flotation tank, only it's super water efficient, so it uses very little water, and so that will be a great way to use those resources. So, this is a high efficiency uh, washing machine goes in this cabinet. It, it, there's no washing machine in it at present, oh, right. right, just storage material. But, uh, it uses a very little water, but it uses roughly nine dollars of electricity per year to run, and the water can the um, rinse water can be used for the next washing load. And this is uh, so this area is actually the kitchen area, but this is the the uh, in ground or in ground the permanent installed sink. The hot hot water for the house is underneath here. It's a little unit which is up there on the wall next to the mosquito. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, almost. I would pay you to get it. But next time. So yes. And then the, the, the island right here is movable. So it actually docks on the corner. It can be moved anywhere. But within the island, I have uh, the refrigerator goes in there. I have an induction hot plate. Here you do not see a piece of furniture, but it is actually in this area, which is a four by seven area, is a trundle bed. And the trundle bed has a platform that will come up rough, roughly to this height. So on this platform is actually my office desk, my musical instruments, because I play music, and also a bookcase with uh, some of my library books. In the here. winter, because of the awning, we can uh, change the awning angle, we can get more sun in the winter and this heats the floor up so that like this spring, even when it's cold outside, the next morning when I wake up, the floor is actually warm to your feet. And so this will absorb basically the air temperature or if you add energy to it, um, it will absorb that energy as well. So in the summertime, if I were to cool this down to like the 60s or 70s and it could be 90 outside, and we were to lose power, this would resist and keep everything cool in this room. It takes very little energy to, to heat it, to light it, and I can have solar panels up and provide most of the energy for the home. With like 8 to 12 solar panels, I can provide 100% of the energy and also power my electric car. The little gray car out there, that's all electric. Light, if there's any light outside, it's amplified coming in here. And this, uh, the roof, if you notice, is slanted for rainwater collection. And so I have several thousand gallon, well, I have a thousand gallon um, tank. And I'll probably try to add another thousand gallons. So that way I can water the garden. 50% of that area, when you see the grass ending, roughly that will be a traditional garden.